so we'll first uh, discuss the problem statement we'll first understand it with the help of a sample example and then dive to the various approaches in order to solve this problem so the problem statement is given an integer array a of size n you need to pick b elements from either left or right end of the array a to get maximum sum so we need to return this maximum possible sum so there is something important to note here we can either put from the leftmost end or the rightmost end of the array and we need to pick them without skipping any element from the, that end so let me clarify it suppose we have b equals to 4 like we have to pick 4 elements and array contains 10, ele 10 elements then we can pick first 4 elements from left or we can pick the last 4 elements which is from the right end or we can pick 1 from the front and 3 from the back and we can pick two from the front, two from the back and so on. So you need to return the maximum possible sum of elements you can pick. So one thing to note down here, we need to pick in contiguous manner from either ends. It's not that we can pick the first, the third and the fifth like that. Okay. So let's understand with the help of a sample case. Suppose the input array is five minus two, three, one, two and P equals to three. So we need to pick three elements from either ends. Okay so the output is 8 so let's have a look at the various possible cases and then we can understand how to approach so case one is we can pick all the three elements from the leftmost end which is from the start so 5 minus 2 plus 3 so it is 6 okay now let's pick from the right end so 3 plus 1 plus 2 so 2 plus 1 plus 3 which is in this order so the sum is 6 okay okay so case 3 is Let's pick one element from here, 5, then from here, 2, and then from here, minus 2. So 5 plus 2 minus 2, which is 5. And case 4 would be pick one from here, another from here, and another from this end. Because when we pick this element, this becomes the last element. So we need to pick this. Okay. So 5 plus 2 plus 1, which is 8. So this is the maximum possible sum out of all the four cases. So this problem belongs to a category in which is solving the problem is not a big issue because the problem seems very simple and very interesting because we know that we can just apply brute force we can solve this problem by just applying the brute force but the important thing to understand here is the accuracy the accuracy as well as the efficiency okay the important thing to understand here is the efficiency of the code and not just solving it so approach one which is the brute force approaches compute the sum of all such cases like the four cases we have seen here pick from this end all from this end all from this end some from this end some from this end and so on okay so brute force would be compute the sum of all such cases and return the max possible sum among all the above cases okay so this is the brute force approach that we have done here but as you can see this is not very optimal solution because we need to find all the possible cases and then need to return the final answer which is the maximum out of it now let's have a look at the efficient approach so one efficient approach could be uh, first compute the sum of all the b elements from the front okay just compute all the b elements from the front only which is 3 so we need to take the first three element sum 5 minus 2 plus 3 which is 6 okay. then what we need to do store this sum in a particular variable called answer okay so we will do this then loop over b elements from the end of the array so now what happens we know that we have taken the maximum possible sum from the left okay now we need to keep taking that sum from the right as well so need to loop over the b elements from the right end and then with each iteration b we need to subtract the element from the front and move towards right and we need to add the element from the end and move towards left and take the max of this modified sum and answer and store it in the answer so i'll help you explain this so let's understand here with the help of an example so we take first we take all the b elements from the front end which is the leftmost end and then we what we do we keep removing one from here and keep adding one from this end so what are we doing we are checking all the possible cases by doing so so for example 5 minus 2 plus 3 which is 6 now what we do we remove 3 and we add 2 so this covers the case 5 minus 2 plus 2 okay then we remove this element and then we add this element and then we remove the 5 and we add 3 so by doing this we are checking all the possible combinations from both the ends so let's have a look at the code and then we, we can further discuss this so let's first declare our main in main 
let's return one because we have written a return type as one uh, sorry return type as int now let's take a sample array which we have discussed so int a equals to what is the sample array 5 minus 2 3 1 2 okay now we'll check the various answers for this possible case and let's call our method max sum from ends and let's pass this along with the value of b so let's declare int b equals to 3 which is the max which is the number of elements to be considered from both the ends and let's have void return statement max sum from and this is our method so we have declared it now let's write the return the input parameters types so a vector and an integer okay now let's write the code here so first we'll take into consideration the number of elements in this array so we'll just do this and store the number of elements in variable n now let's define some variable to loop over j equals to n minus 1 so the index i is keeping track of the leftmost indices and the index j or the variable j is keeping a track of the rightmost indices okay so let's define int sum equals to zero to take the sum of all the elements initially and let's have another variable b b2 equals to b so what are we doing we are storing the value of b so that it doesn't uh, whenever get mod it, whenever it get modified we have a copy of it okay now just loop over all the b elements from the start so we are just following the first step first compute the sum of all the b elements from the front okay so while b we just take the sum of the elements from the beginning so a of what i plus plus why i plus plus because i equals to zero and this is keeping the track of the indices from the left from the start okay i plus plus and b minus minus why b minus minus because we need to only take the b elements so each time we decrement b as we have taken that value into consideration while computing the sum okay now let's store this sum in the variable answer as discussed now we have done this part okay now loop over the b elements from the end of the array so that's why we have taken this value in b2 because we need this value of b and here it is getting modified okay so this is how you always store the value which is required in future so while b2 what we do we first i'll write then i'll explain you what i have written okay minus minus i sum plus equals to a of what uh, j minus minus and what should come answer equals to max of answer comma sum and b2 minus minus and okay let's do one thing let's pr print each of the initial answers to understand it better let's do c out sum okay b2 minus minus and let's print out the final value which is the maximum answer stored in sum okay so let me explain you what i have written so as uh, as decided first take all the b elements from the front and store it in variable sum so this part of code does it does exactly the same now we have stored that value of sum in variable answer okay now what we do we loop through all the b2 elements which is the b itself the number of elements we need to consider from the right end as well so sum minus equals to a minus minus i so what are we doing here let's come to the example whenever we are taking a particular element from the right end we are just removing the corresponding element from the left end in this direction why so because suppose if we need to take only three elements so 5 minus 2 and 3 have been taken but if we need to take this element we cannot proceed one more towards the right when coming from this direction why so because 5 minus 2 and 2 will do the three element case for us we can't take this element so that's why we keep removing that element from the sum and we keep adding this value from the sum okay 
and we then compute each of the initial values and finally store the maximum possible value in the variable answer and return it so let's have a let's run this code in order to understand whether this is doing as required or not okay not compiled successfully why okay this should be comma okay so such mistakes you should avoid now let's run it five eight six and final answer is eight okay great so as you can see it has printed all the possible values for us and then finally the maximum possible value okay so let's uh, have a look once again what we are doing we are just first computing five minus two and three okay then we are storing this possible sum in one variable which is six now what we do we keep on taking one element from right end and we keep removing one from here so when we take two we remove three when we take one also we remove minus two so it covers the case five plus one plus two which is eight which will was the maximum case here okay so i'll recommend you to go over this code once again in order to understand it better so this type of codes seems very simple when it but when it comes to writing efficient code it's not an easy task so even if it takes time do spend some more time understanding it and we hope that you will definitely understand it so thanks for watching all the very best